All right, welcome back, and it's time to go back. Back to the brothel. Remember how we took away all the stuff that was easy to get? Yeah, now we gotta fight some pimps. Well, I mean, that fighting some pimps is a very brutish way of putting it. <laughs> or just cut open do cut open holes in the doors of their basements and roofs. That's closer to how I imagine what's happening. I mean, at some point, a pimp fight's gonna have to happen. Like, there's stuff behind them, and they don't want you to get it. I can get through using my saw blade. I like that they keep reminding you that, that about the tools they have. It sure is great that I have this shovel. Sweet. Worth it so Sweet. far. Sweet. Four that was things. like half the components of a saw blade. Broken guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been great a long time ago. Before we got two more of them. <laughs> uh, maybe Franco wants some broken guitars. Yeah, he probably values them relatively highly. I wonder how much he values an actual guitar. Probably higher than a broken one. Probably. Too bad I we just can't sell him one. Probably. You can't? No, nah, that's just rooted in place. Oh, because it's... It, it's actually an okay, improvement. So a guitar is actually a building? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Wow, that's kind of... Okay, that's why you said that the chair doesn't count, because the chair is part of the guitar. Yeah. I thought a guitar was part of, like, was a component itself to try and build a guitar station. Kind of like in Dwarf Fortress, how beds... You don't build beds out of wood, you build beds out of beds. <laughs> you have to first build the bed component to make the bed building in the carpenter shop. <laughs> We need a bed to make this bed. Yeah, that was the thing that took me, honestly, like 30 minutes to figure out the first time I played that game. How do you make a bed? Oh, you just, you put beds in the bed. Yeah. Okay, slim picking so far. Oh, well, you did get some gunpowder? Yeah. Can you actually, like, make bullets? Yeah. Uh, it takes a top level, I think, uh, metal workshop. Yeah, it's what all it's what the spare uh, gunpowder so and shell casings are used for. Do you have to have like something to make a slug? Like, does it eat components for something to shoot out of the gun? I'm um, not sure. As of the recording it, now, I've never gotten the workshop that high. I think you're right. Sure. I believe it does take like one component, one uh, gunpowder, and one shell casing to make a bullet. After you've so we're gonna start upgraded your workshop. We're gonna start, like, straight-up Nick and shit, right? Yep, but from thugs, so lower morale penalty. Now, can you tell the mistake I've made so far? You have not started nicking shit. I've begun. I, I nicked something from the cupboard. Also, you've left yourself in a- you left yourself in a corner. Have you noticed the other mistake I made? I missed your mistake. Uh, you left the door open. That's the one. <laughs> Look at and also, you left yourself in a corner. <laughs> Look at those footprints. Oh. What was that? Oh. I, I didn't leave this open. So, yeah, we're going to have to get into pimp fighting a lot faster than we uh, thought. Are you ready for some quick thinking, though? <laughs> <laughs> I remember opening this door over here. <laughs> Oh, he must well have done. jumped off the roof. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of that moment. <laughs> and Mere he's gone. seconds before he got up to the top of the ladder and looked at you. <laughs> if I weren't but Marco, hey, I can... <laughs> if I were not Marco, I probably would have been caught there. Right, yeah, because Marco is faster than most of the guys, but not quite as fast as Pavel. More importantly, I noticed when I was halfway through scavenging, and he has the faster scavenge speed. Right. You can't cancel scavenging, though, can't you? Probably. But you probably wouldn't have, because you're yeah. greedy. Yeah, that's... There's, there's many factors at play here. <laughs> not least of which is my greed. Kind of a shame, so you got all the garbage components off the roof, but didn't get any of the good stuff in the filing cabinets. Yeah. We're gonna have another trip back here, probably. 
We're gonna take another We're trip, another back, trip back to the filing cabinets. Yeah, right now. Yeah, because this the night is young. The night is young, and those cabinets are full. <laughs> also, I really like the I really like the scavenging music. Yeah, it's it's chill while still being kind of tense. Yeah, it's it's it is glitch. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he was yelling to the, a rat. If we were going to the, if we were going to uh, Kevin McLeod's site, I believe the theme would be, uh, what is it, uh, subdued yet driving. Are, are they talking to you or an NPC? They were, they were talking to me. The first guy saw me. He informed a person standing next to him, and when he lost track of me because I hid, he yelled, "Don't try this again." Oh, you got line. Uh, does he have a line of sight on you? Uh, nope. He is looking the other way. But if he turns around, yes. Oh, can you not close those when you raid them? No, but I'm not sure they notice when it's okay. just looting containers. So it's it's just a marker for you as the player. He noticed. Well, it's because you left the door open again. Ah, he was sprinting. <laughs> I think also broken assault rifle. That's hardcore. Yeah. Sun's rising. Gotta I kinda, move. I kind of wonder if assault rifles um, works. Uh, huh, Four twenty. I kind of wonder if assault rifles in this game, if they're if they're abstracted, that like a bullet fires like a burst that does X amount of damage, or if it burns through ammo about as realistically as an actual assault rifle. I believe in this game, when you click an enemy once, it fires some amount and it takes one bullet. Right, it is it a bullet is a is a currency spend spent to attack things. Right. Um oh Sp yep. spent one I bullet, got five bullet. bullet. But I got five bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Net gain, four bullets. Happy. Yeah, we can now hold off raiders for five more nights. Oh, unless the, unless the, I spend like four in one night. It's really variable. Got some more veggies? Everything's coming up. Also, Bruno. it looks like uh, is Bru it looks like Bruno is oh very hungry. Okay, I noticed from his text, I thought he I thought he was also like scared or something. He's sad. He's very hungry and sad. He's like Garfield. Sad because we stole from somebody. I thought I thought Bruno was pretty resistant to that. Sad. He was sad before. He, he's sad because we haven't been uh, adequately filling his cigarette needs, and he just crossed down to very hungry. Uh. -huh. Crossing down to very hungry lowers the morale pretty sharply. Right. Even worse if they cross down to starving. Oh, nice. We got uh, more meats. Yep. Two, yeah, two rat beefs. Working on that sponsorship deal, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I found this segment brought to you by Arby's. <laughs> God damn it. There's a war happening. Go to Arby's. Look, in that Enjoy rat cage, meats. in that rat Life trap, I fragile. found some Totino's pizza rolls. <laughs> no, I like, I like the idea that, that our, yeah, our beef is, <laughs> yeah, is for rat, is, is for rat beefs. <laughs> we, we found a big beef and cheddar in there. <laughs> oh. Bruno is very concerned about people attacking. Wouldn't you be, considering it's happening consistently? <laughs> Yeah. How many home invasions would it take to start, like, considering home invasions your number one problem? Hey, we, we shored the place up. The only thing we could do anymore is stockpile bullets, build guns, make a door. And, yeah, add, a, <laughs> add an electrified security door. Someone's here. Boy, howdy, it's meat time. We need water. Yeah. Oh, children. Uh-oh. She lives several blocks away from here. Our mom's very ill. She needs medications. Can you spare any? Without our help, she'll die. Daddy went to fight. We don't have anything. Fortunately, you have all the medicine. Poor children. I hope our meds are enough to help their mother. I hope her, I hope their mother likes to consume. <laughs> Meds are hard to come by. We did the right thing. These kids are very so, brave. They risk their lives walking around the neighborhood to save their mother. 
Zlata's been living with us for like a week. And, That's the uh, first thing she said. Yeah. By the way, I actually yeah. made a very slight misplay there. What? Pavel really likes being the one to help neighbors. Oh. He, he is the only one, as far as I know, that gains a morale boost from being the one to make the exchange. Does he? Well, I mean, it, it helps Bruno. It helps everyone, but, yeah, but Pavel gets an extra boost if he's the one who does it. Huh. Yeah, because he was the star footballer. He needs to be the center of attention. And it might only apply if it's one of the things where you actually send someone off to help. Oh, okay, so... I guess that gives him something to do, because Bruno... Everybody else has something they can do around the house except for Marco, who can sleep. Marco tired. <laughs> who can rest up for the... Uh, he can rest up to go and um, raid tonight. I mean, Marco is very happy. No, nah, he's very hungry. Okay. Content is the uh, the good side of that coin, like Zlata is. So I think we're we're I'm guessing we're listening to the uh, cannot play guitar yep. track. Yep, that's where I'm showing it off. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what it's like if someone kind of knows how to play. Oh, so Pavel has some skill. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's a little more subdued, but uh, it's not like Rachmaninoff style guitar. And yes, I know he's a piano player. He had very big hands. <laughs> Slada's hands are huge. I remember that was actually one of the problems I had when I was first learning guitar, because the guitar I got was borrowed off of a neighbor, and um, I have very big hands, but my neighbor's guitar had a very thin neck. So it proved to be very difficult to play. Slada could palm a basketball and have her fingers meet. <laughs> <laughs> Is she like salad fingers? <laughs> Can she also put simple pool balls in her mouth? <laughs> and sip the moon through a drinking straw? The night. Yeah, things are starting to get tough here. So I yeah, you need to... You need to start. You need to keep an eye on the places that are that get blocked off and go and hit those harder. Oh me! What are you doing? Uh, by the time that they open back up again, then uh, uh, then as far as I know, there's no way to predict what will close the next time things close. Oh, it's just it's just totally random. Yeah. Back to the brothel, guys. All right, time for pimp fights. <laughs> What's it with you and pimp fights? <laughs> It's gonna happen! You keep stealing from these pimps, they're very good at spotting you, and you- you just keep making lots of noise. To be fair, last time it was a glitch. He saw me through the door. I thought there was a line- oh, I thought there was a line of sight. Nah, that- like a that, window or something. that door is blockaded. Okay. What's up, Kevin? Why, why were you just bemoaning your actions here? Because I forgot I was that much of an idiot. Just gonna walk right back in there after they chase me out. Yeah, but you got all this shit you could steal. Good <laughs> shit. And now you're remembering <laughs> to close the doors. I remember. <laughs> well, I guess it's not that good shit, but it's it's decent. It's, it's something. You, you can actually turn. You, you might. Have, how many parts do you need to actually turn that broken assault rifle into an assault rifle? Thing is, components are more the problem with that. Yeah, you have, oh, okay. you have to put up some of everything. Ooh, the fridge. That's the good stuff. I like that the fridge has magnets on it. Yeah. Or maybe those are bullet holes. What have we got? Ah, uh, it'll oh, do. Oh, there we go. That's, those three canned foods are worth their weight in gold. That's like a week and a half for someone. All right. Might be time to go. Might be time to hide for a little bit. I've got no weapons. If they, if they, um, if they, so if they stop near your hidey hole, can they like pull you out? They can only or, interact with you in the uh, hiding spot if they saw you go into it. Gotcha. Otherwise, they lose track of you. So breaking down that door is gonna make a lot of noise, right? I can't actually. It's boarded from the other side. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Here's where I decide to stop going back to the brothel. 
when one of <laughs> when one of the working women came out and yelled for me to leave because I I thought there was a very different arrangement here. Right. Yeah. You figured they wouldn't rat on you because they don't want to be here. Yeah. I guess they're kind of living here, so if you steal from this place, you're also stealing from them. Yeah, that's that's sort of what I started realizing. And I'm gonna see if the trader still likes me. He goes, hey, why not push my luck? Yeah, why don't you go and trade the things you stole from him back to him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure word doesn't travel that quickly between rooms. Boy, that was a that was a light night there. Yeah, some decent stuff, but not enough of it. You don't have to run every night. It's just a good idea. Yeah, like, it's better than if I hadn't sent anyone at all. Yeah. Plus, with, with Marco's high capacity, we're already quite a few functional nights ahead of where we would be with almost anyone else. Uh-oh, Pavel's getting sick. Yep. We were called to a tenement fire. I was still the new one on our team. We just started assembling the hoses when a resident shouted there was someone inside. I donned the mask, went in, and carried out a young lady. Long story short, we got married soon after. Her name was Alina. That's a hell of a meat cute. That's a hell of a long story short. <laughs> Go to bed, Pavel. Yeah, that's that's yeah. It's one step removed from a man was born, he lived and died the end. <laughs> Make your own story. It will be equally satisfying. Alright, time for Brandon to do today. the things that we uh, risk our lives for. Hmm? Can you imagine the backlash if he burnt the chicken we brought in? <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! Hold on, Scott, throw it in the garbage. <laughs> Can you get me another chicken? I burnt the one we were gonna have for dinner tonight. Is that 14 canned foods? Yep. That's so much canned food. You got all those meals on the stove. Did meals on the stove ever go bad or anything? No. At the Not moment, I've never I... seen. Okay, the oh. cigarette price has restabilized. That's good. You have not encountered any cigarettes. Or had Although a you missed out on. Thing. Yeah, you missed out. You missed out on your chance to make major windfall on cigarettes. I could have sold it to Franco once. Mm. Okay, this is the. Uh, this is the events that says that people are starting to pull medical items out of outdoor looting spots. Fortunately, that's like the second thing that you take after food because it's the most valuable like currency. Yeah, as far as I know, the only uh, medical items are medication, herbal meds, and med parts. What is a med part? You need them to make medications on the upgraded herbal workshop. Okay. I, it's just called med parts. Something like that. I've never actually picked them up and brought them home. They look like a pill being broken in half with dust coming out of them. Sure. Uh, okay, you're right. That's, um... Pure alcohol yeah, and, and bandages yeah. might count, too. I don't know. That seems like a... Yeah, that seems like a very dangerous thing to do if you're not, like, a chemist. To just make drugs. So, in the sidebar for the med parts, it says that they're mostly old, like, animal pills. Yeah. I mean, okay, it, so it's just, it's just like, it's a larger dosage and you're just like taking another, you're just like putting them in another capsule. Yeah, something like that. It depends on the, uh, the drug, too. I mean, if you're grinding up a set of minifin to add it to, uh, stuff, it's not nearly as big a deal as other things. Yeah, if you're breaking apart, like, horse codeine. A horse is like four times as big as a person, right? So if I just cut this into four pieces, it'll be good. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, volume and uh, weight are much different than uh, much different measurements. It is pretty interesting that you can do moonshine, but you can't grow like any sort of drug. Yeah, especially since you have the herbal station. Although I think being able to grow a drug just means having like. It would mean having access to it. I mean, although you are making moonshine just out of water and sugar. Yeah. When normally you'd need a shit ton of corn to do that. And I don't know. Like you, the the reason you make alcohol is I said this before. The reason you make alcohol is because you have a surplus of food that you don't want that to spoil. Yeah. 
I mean, like, it's it'd be a thematic change, right? Because largely we're we're like the survivors, not drug lords. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I was gonna say that you know it, it takes quite a while to grow to grow say pot or something, but on the other hand, it takes a long time to grow vegetables too, much longer than three days. Yeah, like I think that's the thing. Like because this this the war in this game doesn't last for four years. Like every day is like a much longer time span. This game happens in an abbreviated style. If, also, yeah. you can see the. I like you can see the the siege in the background there and how damaged the uh, yeah how damaged the city is. We're getting raided this much out in the suburbs. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also the I mean the damage in the city is probably from the actual war. Like right. This house has been damaged by like a shell that went rogue. <laughs> I know it's the uh, the image on Wikipedia I think for the siege of Sarajevo is just a picture of the Capitol building like. Uh, the the Capitol building offices on fire. Yeah, I would guess that each day of this lasts about a week, considering how quickly you go through winter. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take that many days. Although there's a lot of things abstracted, like you know how long you can go without food if you take that measurement. <laughs> Yeah, but you I mean you also then say like, oh, you're making you're you're making more food and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, there, there's like you're you're taking cans of food and a can could be a pallet or whatever. Like, we could just keep sitting here like doing unit conversions all day. Yeah, so that's the number I'm going with a week per day. Sure. That seems like a fair measurement. Things are actually pretty calm at the house today. We're just waiting for what? What's the thing that's being built in the workshop? Um, which workshop? Uh, the workshop at the bottom right. I don't remember what workshop that was. Oh, uh, that's that's uh, that that's, the the, that's the vegetables. Okay. It's, it takes three days for those to finish. Don't go back to the brothel. What are you doing? Right? No, no. Brothel has a. It's kind of. I've overstayed my welcome. I think. There's nothing there unless we kill our way through. Speaking of killing your way warehouse. through, that's. Let's go to the warehouse. That's probably not protected by crime lords. Let's see. Currently is used as a hideout by a group of armed thugs. It is very, very dangerous. Yeah. I figured, yeah, a place that a place that holds valuable things. Surely no criminal element has taken control of that. Let's go to the city hospital, but we'd have to basically start stealing. Yeah, just go go to the warehouse, then at least we start stealing from thugs. School's mostly cleaned out. Small just apartment building. An elderly couple busy. and their son. They probably can't fight up very well. Well, <laughs> there's lots of places I haven't gone because they require you to steal basically everything. Yeah, and the small the, the apartment building seems like it'd be have a lot of scavengeable stuff that isn't theft. It's it's more looting. Welcome to the warehouse. We got fun and games. Better be careful. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you guys, your mitts. Peekaboo. Door poured it up. Fucking. <laughs> gotta climb this broken bed to get to the roof. Look, Go there's a toilet. That. Hey, look, there's a guy on the left. Yeah. He's probably guarding the entrance of the warehouse, eh? Not well. He's watching the door, I guess, but from the wrong side. So if a guy isn't if a guy is facing the opposite direction from you, can you like sneak up and like choke him out? Hypothetically, we have to go find Lena. S plus O. Alright, so Alright, we got all the good stuff out. Well You figured you want to keep it there, like. No, not out of here. Out of where they were last looting. Oh, okay. Wouldn't mind hitting a humanitarian aid transport again. Oh, cartoon villains. <laughs> Although, I'm sure... That's probably not a thing that's we'll fix terribly outside the push. Yeah, it's probably verbatim from conversations that have been had in the past. Especially since I'm guessing humanitarians, like, there might be a... There, they're less likely to have an armed convoy than, say, you know, military uh, aid. So, yeah. if I remember correctly, that's actually something that happened in the Siege of Sarajevo. 
Um, that does not surprise me. Serbia, like the UN sent a major peacekeeping agent that brought humanitarian aid, and the Serbians attacked him. Or at least is how the report went, and that was one of the big things that led to NATO involvement. Yeah, probably one of the big three. Like the the as far as I know, the big thing was that they just started was that the Serbians just straight up started like murdering civilians with artillery pieces. Let's have a look. See. Hello? Okay, good. We know they're mobile. That's good to know. Yes, I could hear a door move. All right, a tomato. Some crap and a gear. We'll leave it on the desk by the door. Good, no one's here. Hello. <laughs> There's a dude just upstairs. This is probably the single most dangerous location in the game. I believe you're correct. With maybe the exception of the military outpost if you trigger them. Why but would Paul's you? Paul's just gonna Paul's just gonna phase through the door. You're not closing that door, by the way. That's Marco. Oh yeah. He's like Pavel, but better. Look at me, press my luck. <laughs> I mean, why not? For, for another piece of fertilizer. Totally worth it. Oh, didn't bring saw blades. Hey, every fertilizer I get is a piece of meat I don't have to use it for. Yeah. So you're gonna kick down that door? Of course I am. How far are you gonna press your luck? Uh, you ever see that- Actually, everybody's- You ever see yeah, that everybody's... game show? Press your luck? Yeah, Remember the guy you, who went right, through like 30 rounds of it because he knew the system? That's how much oh, you actually that's how much I'm gonna press my luck, except I don't know the system. <laughs> you seem like you know it kind of okay. That guy you should Yeah. You don't you don't you don't know entirely how to how to just totally avoid the whammies, but So to answer your earlier question, Matt. Uh, mm -hmm. You can always do a sneak attack if their back is to you and you're in a hiding spot. But, right. but you can only do a backstab sneak attack from just behind them if you have someone who's an S rank in combat. And that is two characters that we do not have. That's Roman the Soldier and Erica the Thief. Gotcha. So if you do, if somebody who isn't like... Oh, yep. So somebody who isn't a uh, like an S rank in combat, do they just knock dudes out, or is it just like a lower chance that they'll kill somebody? They, they just hit them with an attack. Yeah, they can't do the backstab special attack, so they just sort of hit them in the back. Okay. For normal damage. So you just get around where you win instead of shoving around. That thugness is going to the library. I'll miss going to the library. Chad, for, some reason, the, out. <laughs> for some reason, the thugs in my mind are always cockney. Well, what about that guy who said, I'll fix him good and proper? <laughs> fix him good and proper. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. To be fair, there is there is one race that of cockney accented uh, people who are like that. So this guy down here is my mortal enemy. Are you trying to aggro him there? I was not actually trying to there. I just noticed him sort of wiggling down there. So he's my moral enemy because he has a tendency to start doing this. Just sitting here. I hope it's just the wind. And then he just starts going to this sort of tremor thing. What call him Twitch? Which would be fine except for the time limit. Right. Fuck. Uh, fortunately, it takes him. <laughs> fortunately, it takes him nine years to aim his gun. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Not even gonna try and get your stuff out of the pile. So I don't know if you could tell, but that is by far the closest I've come to losing a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Extremely close. Or at least getting him severely wounded to the point where he might not last the winter, which is coming up. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. But hey, we got some fertilizer. Goodbye. Now we're gonna leave and reseed that raider attack. 
<laughs> one can only hope, right? Yeah. All right, well, good night, Internet. Sleep good night. well.